Good evening from Bobblehead Homestead. I am Jeff. Today is Monday. It was 77 degrees and sunny. I did not have my microphone jack plugged in all the way most of the day, so that footage is not very good, which is why I'm doing this now here. Uh, yeah, baby chicks got outside. Horrible footage in the mobile home. I do not have enough lighting, and I'm not going to... Yeah, anyway. Uh, but I did uh, take them outside really quick and get some photos. Ten baby chicks. All of them are white and true blue purebreds. The two white ones are from one family, and the eight uh, chipmunk variety are from another family. Ten more Whiting True Blue Purebreds added to my numbers, uh, which are, what am I at now? Uh, 207 total, and going down tomorrow for various reasons that go up and down, hatching, or, uh, anyway, um, 207. 59 White and True Blues. I have 59 total White and True Blues. Only four of those are laying hens. I do have one pullet, at least one pullet has started laying, maybe two pullets have started laying, with uh, two more pullets uh, any day now should start laying. And yeah, but I'm building up those numbers. Um, you know, those baby chicks, uh, how many roosters white and true blue roosters do I have? That's not even funny for me. I have five white and true blue full grown uh, ready to go roosters but only four laying hens. Those numbers will be changing as the months progress. Um, okay, next topic. I let out, I've got 31 uh, juvenile ankle biters in one coop that I just combined and I've been letting them out about an hour before dark so they can get used to uh, a little bit of uh, free ranging inside the electric netting anyway. And I got some footage of that. Those would make somebody a great backyard flock who wants a rainbow color of eggs. There are 
white and true blues in there that lay blue eggs. There are olive eggers, two types of olive eggers in there that'll lay light green or a uh, medium olive egg. Let's see, there are barred rocks in there which will lay a light brown egg. Stop making noise back there, cats. Who is that, Bob? Yeah. Olive eggers, uh, barred rocks, lay light browns. I got those just because I need uh, numbers. Let's see, there are wellsomers in there that will lay a uh, medium brown speckled. Uh, uh, and then there are morans in there that will lay the dark brown. And sometimes morans have speckles also. So you got a little bit of everything in that flock. Um, yeah, so that's cool. That was most of the footage I got today. There was a very good question about chick grit in yesterday's video, so I'm going to spend some time talking about chick grit, or chicken grit. Uh, first of all, what is grit? Grit is like sand, but bigger. Um, I don't know, four times the size of sand? I have no idea on that concept, but why do chickens need uh, grit? They do not have teeth. They have a gizzard. And the gizzard is like a muscle that uh, contracts and it crushes up their food. And so the grit, you know, t little tiny rocks, helps grind inside their gizzard and helps break down their food so it goes to the next stage. And that's why chickens need grit. Um, I give my baby chicks grit uh, because they're in a brooder. But my adult chickens, I do not give them grit because they're outside on the ground, they can get it naturally. Um, so that's kind of the deal with grit is with baby chicks, I add it to their feed uh, so that they get it. They do pass it through their systems. You know, it goes in the gizzards, it all gets and it goes down. When they're outside on the bare ground, uh, they can replenish that and, you know, keep their system going. Uh, when they're, you know, like if you're a commercial chicken raiser and they're raised on concrete, you're going to have to add grit to their feed because they're not getting it naturally. But my outdoor chickens all get grit naturally, but the baby chicks don't get it, it naturally because they're on uh, pine shavings. And so that's the deal with grit. Uh, another part of that question was oyster shells. and. Uh, oyster shells, a, an egg is mostly made of calcium. The outer uh, crunchy uh, hard part of the egg is mostly made out of calcium. So adult laying hens, uh, they, uh, they need the extra calcium to help them lay strong uh, shells on their eggs. And so oyster shells is a high source of calcium and that's added to laying hens feed quite often so that they um, they lay nice shells. Um, what else can I say about that? They, uh, oyster shells can also act kind of like grit. It's a, a you know a small hard substance that the gizzard will use to help crush down their feed and everything else and uh, so in that 
since it's dual purpose. Now roosters don't need oyster shells because they don't need, don't lay eggs. Baby chicks also don't need oyster shells because they're not laying eggs yet. So that's why you can't use oyster shells and grit interchangeably because um, uh, baby chicks do not need the extra calcium in their diets. A lot of people offer oyster shells free choice. You, you know, just make a little uh, thing and the chicken c can go get it. Somehow they know when they need more calcium in their diet. Um, I usually just add it to their feed, uh, you know, maybe two spoonfuls every three or four days. And a lot of times it's left over in the bottom of the feed bowl. Um, and if it's gone, you know, uh, I don't, uh, uh, I know they are needing it. I can also tell when I'm collecting their eggs. Sometimes, every once in a while, you'll pick up an egg and just the pressure of your fingers on it will crack it. And you know their, their shells are thin. And that can be, if it's a common occurrence, that might be a problem that they don't have enough calcium and you need to give them more oyster shells. But sometimes it's just an anomaly, it's a one-time thing. Uh, but that's a sign you can look for is if their eggs are easy to break, they might need more calcium in their diet and oyster shells is one of the good ways to add more calcium. So yeah, that's my rant on chicken grit and oyster shells. And that's probably it for this video. Sorry that, uh, anyway. Thanks for watching. Thanks for every opportunity I've had here at, at Bobblehead Homestead. I was counting today, I've hatched, had 19 hatches this year. 19 separate hatches with, um, I, don't, I don't know. I could probably count how many chicks I've hatched this year. I haven't gone back to look. But uh, 19 hatches and with plans to do many more bigger ones next year. That's what all those white and true blues that hopefully will grow up and start laying eggs for me next year uh, will definitely help out with uh, increasing my numbers. Thanks for watching. Take it easy, everybody. Here's a clip of uh, Grumpy got home before, right before dark. Meow. 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 Meow.